As we've all been obviously trying to beat the heat, and meteorologist David Harker joins us now with a look at the first alert forecast. Is there yeah. any relief in sight? Well, it's going to take a couple of days to finally get here. Once it does, Terrence, then we can be sitting outside. The 70s may not have to worry about quicker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you may still have to worry about the citronella can with all those mosquitoes. I know after last weekend, I looked at my legs. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even count the number of mosquito bites that uh, I had. Ouch. Yeah, and it looks like we'll still see the uh, threat for mosquitoes this weekend, even with the chance of rain showers in the forecast. First, take a look at the Doppler radar. All is quiet. We don't have to worry about the rain uh, just yet. That's going to come tomorrow. And then as we look to the overnight hours into Saturday as well, let's take a look at the almanac for the daytime today. Where did we get to 94 degrees in the capital city? 92 degrees in Jackson, the low temperatures into the 70s. Now, four days in a row in the capital city that we've seen 90 degree temperatures. You may be thinking, well, is that a record? Well, it's not. Uh, there was a stretch of time that we were seeing over 15 days in a row with the 90 degree temperature. So not this year. It looks like we'll possibly see a 90 degree day tomorrow. That would make it five in a row, but it really kind of depends on where you are in mid Michigan. We take a look at the advisory and the warning that we have on the screen. The orange signifying the heat advisory, the excessive heat warning from Shiwa Livingston, Washington, Ottawa counties. The big difference is once you get into that excessive heat warning, you can expect higher temperatures, higher uh, heat index values as well above 105 degrees. I still haven't seen that just yet. I think the only place that has seen any temperatures in the middle 90s across those eastern counties, Owasso and Shiawassee County. But otherwise, hey, not too much going on out there except dealing with the 90 degree temperatures, the heat that continues to sit across the upper Midwest. Local temperatures holding steady in the 80s, factoring a little humidity and you get some of those values in the upper 80s. Feels like 87 degrees currently in the capital city, 92 in Ionia. Feels like 89 degrees in Hastings. Uh, still a good night to have the AC running if you can, or maybe a fan going. As we look to the weekend, you may be able to give that fan or AC a rest with temperatures only topping out in the upper 70s. Take a look across the region. High pressure still building in, but take a look what's up to the north. Rain showers, wouldn't those feel nice? I know some people have seen a few rain showers over the past couple of days, and the chance will be enhanced over the next few. However, it's a cold front that will be the culprit of that. It's not necessarily the system that you're seeing to the north that will give us the a bulk of the rain. That could come into the latter part of Friday into Saturday. So let's take a look at the next 48 hours. Cold front, it's sitting off to our north. That won't be the, the big cool maker, I guess you can call it. A hot condition still persists. Then by 7 p.m., chance of rain showers still in the Forecast. This is one of two fronts that will make its way through. The second one, as it does, could kick off another shower thunderstorm and linger till about Saturday. And then the temperatures will stay a little bit cooler. So high Saturday will only be topping out in the lower and middle 80s. And then going into Sunday, temperatures even cooler. Highs expected in the upper 70s. So keep the umbrella handy as we look to the start of the weekend, mid weekend, Saturday into Sunday. You may not need it. We do have the chance of rain showers moving in again next week and even problems for any commutes or any plans that you may have for the weekend. Don't have to worry about them on the roadway. Sign of relief. Take a look at temperatures a little bit closer to home over the next two days. Tonight, uh, expect those temperatures down into the 70s. We'll be warming right back up to near 92 degrees. This model shows 91, 92. I think most places will be pretty close to that, if not a degree cooler across our area in mid-Michigan. Temperatures dropping back into the lower 60s start out Saturday and let the cooler temperatures commence, only topping out in the 80s. And then we're back down to the 50s to start out Sunday. That doesn't feel like summer, but it, it will certainly feel good. Take a look at the temperature tonight. 74 degrees, still humid outside. Tomorrow, mostly sunny. Then the rain showers and possible thunderstorms late, some of which could be severe. High winds, heavy rain, a little bit of hail, but the tornado threat is very low. Take a look at the next seven days. Chance of rain showers will be with us to the early part of Saturday. We'll be cooler on Sunday, 78. Chance of rain moving back in the forecast next week. So not overall too bad of a forecast. We need the heat for the crops. We can always use a little bit of rain to cool us down and make it feel a little bit more comfortable in mid-Michigan. All right. Thank you, David.